Good morning, everybody. Stetson with Stetson Lawn Care here. Today is Friday. It is Friday morning, about 11 o'clock, and uh, figured I would go ahead and do my 2021 lawn care setup for you guys because we are officially complete with it. I don't have all the racks on the trailer yet, but you know we have the trailer. That's what I was waiting for to do this setup video. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna start in the shop and we're gonna work our way outside to the big toys, um, which is what you guys saw on the thumbnail, but. So first off, we'll start with the shop. It's a 16 by 30 shop. I've had this for eh, about three months now. And if you look over here, it's kind of a mess right now. I'm gonna sweep it out before at the end of this video I decided. But if you look over here, we got a bunch of green touch racks that I haven't put on the trailer yet. Don't think I'm gonna be putting the blower racks on the trailer. Maybe I'll put one of them, um, but we have that cage now, so everything will fit. Um, we gotta get the gas can racks on it. The gas cans, we got a couple of sure cans. I'm gonna probably buy another five gallon one this year and use that for the mix gas because this little two gallon one is just not cutting it anymore. You know, I'm having to fill that up twice a day. Uh, fill it up once in the morning and then once with the big one um, in the afternoon. So just gonna bite the bullet, get another five gallon one just to be safe. This is the landscape tool rack that's going on the trailer. So it's gonna hold all the rakes and whatnot. And cones, pressure washer is my trash can. I know this isn't very interesting stuff so far. Here's our fertilizer stuff. Come to this side, we got some sand. I had some, that, I had that in my truck bed when it was snowing and icy a couple weeks ago. First we got some extra mulch, got some gorilla lifts. Might put those on the new trailer, might not, cause it is spring assisted. So we don't really, you know, it's kind of fine how it is. We'll have to see. We got a couple random tools. We got this couple of the steel combi system things, a tiller, a stick edger, weed eater, blower. Got that from a family member who gave it to me. We got an old SRM225 that I'm gonna be selling this year. Come up on the wall. We got a, what is this? A PAS 2620 with the head trimmer, or not the head trimmer, with the chainsaw attachment. And then back here, I have the tiller attachment up there on the shelf. Uh, and then over here, we got the Milwaukee, the brushless uh, system that's like the Combi system, which has like a weed eater, an edger, a pole saw, all that stuff. And then here's the Combi system I got from the family member that has the uh, chainsaw and all the other attachments right there. A 16 foot ladder on the wall. We do have the Milwaukee hatchet right here. This thing is awesome, by the way. Highly recommend this, especially like pruning stuff like uh, crepe myrtle, stuff like that. Got the Milwaukee head trimmers, awesome too. We don't even run gas head trimmers anymore, guys, because they're just so heavy and loud. So I sold all of them and uh, picked this up. The battery lasts all day, just one battery. So, um, and it's quiet, it's way lighter. So I really recommend the Milwaukee system for head trimmers and stuff. And then we have this old DeWalt one, which I don't really use, haven't used it in a long time. Come back on the wall, we got some shelves. Just got these at Home Depot, uh, like 80 bucks for all this. So or 80 bucks for one, I think it's like 160 for all of it. But we got a bunch of junk back here. We got an extra Honda bag, all this oil, little blower that we take with us, all this stuff. Here's some of the attachments for the Milwaukee system. We got an Echo, a CS2511 top handle saw. That saw is awesome, by the way. Super light, bunch of power. Come down a little more, we got a bunch of chainsaw chains and we got all of my mower blades. I know we have a lot. <laughs> um, I need to sharpen all these before the season starts too. And then when you come down to the very bottom, we got some cleaning, a couple extra gas cans, little two gallon ones, uh, some irrigation supplies, and just some, you know, some junk down here. Really not very useful. Uh, we do have a grass, Flat. Oh, that's for the 36. That's an extra grass flap. Uh, the little flap, the plastic piece got bent last year. So I ordered that, haven't really put it on yet. Um, I should, probably should do that before the season starts because we're gonna start scalping in the next few weeks. So that'll be good. One more thing we got in here is the grass gobbler for the rights. So we can bag grass. Really helps us with scalping and everything. So that's really nice. Showed you guys all this stuff. So let's head outside. All right, so to start, we got my 2013 F250 with the 6.2 gas engine. It does have the CNG conversion. I've never used that. Don't even know how to, but I might start using it because gas prices are shooting up and CNG is staying about the same. It's got the XL trim. I do have, it's got a, not, not leather, but this is vinyl in the back because when I bought it, it didn't have back seats. So they ordered me some vinyl seats, put it in. So I guess that's nice, but up front's the cloth. Uh, like I said, the XL package. So it's got all the rubber floor mats and everything else. You know, just your typical F-250, it's got 177,000 miles on it, I think. Um, only issue I've had is whenever I bought it, I had to put new catalytic converters on it. But other than that, um, no no major issues. It's a great truck, great work truck. It tows this big trailer that I just got just fine, so no issues there. 
I'll take you guys out to the front, the main part. All right, so here are the main attractions that you guys are here for. Um, I have a little microphone right here, so I'm gonna kind of talk about what all this stuff is, and then I'll uh, edit some clips in there showing what I'm talking about as I'm going. I'll do that separately. Um, but I guess we'll start from this side and work our way that way. So first off right here, we have a commercial Honda, of course. I bought this one used a couple years ago, had to replace the transmission on it, which was about 500 bucks, but um, I, I, did, I got a really good deal on it. Paid like 200 bucks for it. So I got 700 bucks, basically a brand new machine. So can't really complain about that. Um, it's never had any, given me any issues. So, I mean, it's just your average commercial Honda. And then uh, I guess down there also at the other end, we have another commercial Honda, um, which is newer. I bought that one brand new, like three. Yeah, this year will be three seasons ago. Not an issue there either. Um, right here, guys, this is the brand new Toro Titan Max that Toro actually sent to me and they're letting me test it out and I'm going to make some videos on it, have it cutting some thick grass, stuff like that. But guys, this thing is brand spanking new, it has 1.3 hours on it. I've never even uh, mowed with it yet. Uh, the only time I've turned it on is to move it around the shop and whatnot and to kind of get the, get the oil pumping. So that's really all I've done. But back here, it's got a Kohler 7000 Series Pro 26 horsepower engine. Um, it's got really big beefy tires. It's got a, it's the 60 inch deck. It's the brand new Titan Max, like I said. So it's really, really beefy. It is a homeowner's model, but I'm gonna be testing it out commercially. So we'll kind of see how it works. Um, I'm really pumped for it, but we've got the parking brake right here and you know, everything. I have a whole video on it if you guys wanna go look at it. But yeah, so that's, that's the Toro. Come over here. We got the Toro Turfmaster 30 inch HDX. Um, this is, it's got the Kawasaki engine. I'm not a fan of, I am gonna be selling this. I already have a buyer, but I'm gonna be selling this and buying another brand new commercial Honda this year. I'm just waiting for my dealer to get some Hondas because they said that they're they're supposed to be getting 22 sometime, but you know, they're really, Honda's really behind, I guess, because of this whole COVID thing. Taking forever to get the mowers, but it's okay. It'll be here eventually. And then right here, we got a 36 right standard intensity with the Kawasaki FX 600 V with it's got 19 horsepower it's got the snorkel snorkel air filter guys this thing is awesome i've had this for about three years now no issues with this whatsoever uh love this mower it fits in backyards you know small gates perfectly uh really can't complain about it it's got a lot of power it's just you know it's the perfect mower this was the first brand new commercial mower that i bought um i guess the stand-on version so yeah move over here we got the the right 48 inch standard x and this has the kawasaki fx 730v with the 23 and a half horsepower and uh got the snorkel air filter as well both of my rights have grass flaps so here i'll show you on this one it's with control with the, it's ocdc an operator controlled discharge chute and you can just kind of you know you can decide if you want a side discharge or if you want to mulch if you're up next to a flower bed so i really like it um they're about 300 bucks but in my opinion they're worth every penny because they save you the headache of blowing grass in the mulch flower beds and whatnot so you know but yeah like i said this is the 48 inch standard x uh it's got i guess i didn't tell you the 36 has 300 hours and the 48 has 135 hours so i did buy this brand new at the end of the 2019 season so we used this all last year and it worked good can't complain again no issues i love these right mowers guys um but i'm also excited to put the toro to use never used one before so or i used to have a toro but not this you know model and type and all that stuff so i'm really excited to use that and over here we got another commercial honda as i told you guys earlier let me come up here we have a couple blowers i'm missing one blower i have a steel br800 with the side start and one of my buddies is borrowing it he was doing a cleanup yesterday so i went ahead and let him borrow it but we got the echo pb8010 and then the echo 770 uh these blowers are awesome 8010 is great and the leaves uh this 770 is great for everyday mowing use i really love it i can't complain about it so guys that is the this equipment let me move back here so right here we have the actually let me take you guys back here now since i'm done with the big picture stuff so back here we have first off the trailer we got a 7 by 16 tandem axle util uh landscape trailer sorry not utility it's got I, I did custom build this so i wanted the three foot walls the box up front uh electric brakes and really really you know really heavy duty spring assist on the gate all that stuff it's got the bulldog hitch and i got a custom made up in okc custom trailer sales guys really recommend that place 
This this thing did take about 10 weeks to get in, but that's because he told me it was going to take six to eight weeks. But I guess this is, came from Texas and they had a real big ice storm. And so it delayed it a few weeks, but um, it's all good because we did end up getting it last week. So really recommend guys custom trailer sales if you're looking for a trailer. And I really didn't pay that much considering for what I got. Um, I've been, guys are telling me, you know, a trailer like this is worth like five, six K in the area. I paid 3,200 for this one guys. So can't complain at all. Back to the setup. We got the green touch racks on here, which are very, very stout and sturdy. They are not moving whatsoever. So, and I also guys, these are the older version. I really like these better than the new one because they have this little latch that holds the, the weed eaters in place, not just the spring loaded handle right here. So I like that. But right here we got the Echo PE2620, I think. It's the stick edger. Down here we got two SRM 2620s, which are awesome guys. A lot of power and they're really, really light. And then come down here, I just picked this up. It's a SRM 3020. I actually got this off Facebook Marketplace for about, a, I think it was 180 bucks. And uh, the guy used it one season and he decided to get out of the, the long game. So got it for pretty cheap considering they're like 400, 500 bucks brand new. Really not sure about that. But I'm really excited to start using that and some big brush piles and whatnot. But yeah, guys, I think that really covers everything. All I'm missing is the steel BR800, which I'll have, um, should get it back this weekend sometime or early next week, whatever. But yeah, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe down below. We're about to, season's about to kick off and we're gonna be uploading, you know, two, three times a week at the least. It's gonna be awesome. I'm real excited for this mowing season. I've never been this excited before. Maybe it's cause I have this nice new seven by 16 trailer to hold everything, but I'm just really, really pumped guys. You have no idea. And I'm really ready to get back into the YouTube game. Kind of like last season, didn't really upload that many videos. So this season I really, really want to grind and uh, start cranking out videos for you guys so that you can, you know, experience life the way that I do. And you can, I can tell you stories and help you guys give you tips, tricks, everything like that. So I'm just real excited for the mowing to start. And I know you guys are as well, but we should have a couple videos um, next week on probably like Monday and Wednesday. I'll probably do like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, maybe videos. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. This is the 2021 lawn care setup. Pretty epic if you ask me. I've never had a nice lawn care setup like this before. <laughs> so, but anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. We will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.